so it doesn't look like it, but this is actually our path. And every time I go down this path, I get lost, and I hate to make my way through the wood lost, and then I eventually find the path again, so let's see if we can do it today without getting lost. Look at this here, living in the face of the earth here. It could be like a sand martin type of bird, or whatever you would call them. Or it could even be like a ferret, a weasel type of animal. It could be multiple different types of animals living in there. Look at the path here, folks. It's crazy. It throws off your orientation because the path waves right and left so much. If you're coming around here on a mountain bike, you get to do a little bunny hop over these bits of timber. That's an unusual bit there. Looks like it's been chewed. This is a proper forest adventure, folks. I don't think this path here is used too often. It's actually daylight just now, but it's really dark. That shows you how thick the forest is. This is the point here I get lost, because look, the path does go this way. There's another path going that way. But we'll go this way. Now here, the path splits in two, so we'll go left, we'll go left folks, we could go right as well, at least we can come back to this point if we get lost. Proper soaking on the foot. Here we go, this is where the path. This is where I get lost normally. So right now I would say we're lost in the forest. Yeah, so we'll go this way folks. I've been lost in this forest multiple times. You can see the path here just doesn't go through there. Doesn't go any of these directions. Look at the size of these trees, this is a massive tree here. Incredible. Soft moss underfoot. So it's, it's the best type of explorer when there's no path. Just proper wilderness. This is all tiny little trees. It would be impossible to walk through that. It's like a lot of that needs thinned out. Right, here we go, I've just stumbled upon the proper path. It seems to come this way. That's, that's the, where our path forked and I went left. So here we are, we're in a new section of the path. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to follow the edge of the field up here. Look at this old fence. It's totally collapsed. At one time that would have been around the edge of these newly pla planted trees. Now they're massive. So the proper path goes down that way. But I'm sure I can take a shortcut over here. Looks like all the water's collected at that end, but this is dry here. Look how much fungus is on this particular dead tree. It's incredible. It's incredible that that one tree's got so much fungus on it. I think it's a birch tree. It's maybe an exclusive fungus that just likes birch trees. We're once again here off the path folks. We're 
I've made it to the edge of this bit of forest. I'm pretty sure I can follow this field right down to the other end. That's what that's what I'll probably do. So that's a bit of path that I've only ever walked on once. I think there's a little water like dam reservoir kind of bit at the side. But it's nothing fancy. It's just a hole in the ground with some water in it. A crazy view way up to the hills there. That'll be the same hills that featured in the last video when I was in the snow. So I've now walked quite a distance down the side of this field. I've walked as far as where those trees are. And now in sight we can see the little dam that I spoke about over there. It's hard to see it, but it's down in that hollow, just about in the middle. This is normally the path I would go. But today, I'm going to keep going straight down here. Go exploring, folks. See the farmer here has tied all these bits of plastic polythene bag to the stacks to scare away the birds. And it must be working because I can't see any birds at all in this field. Such a calm day today. I was just looking at that stone there at the edge of the field, folks. It's got an S on it. One time before, when I was in this wood exploring, I found a stone with an S carved into it. And I wondered if it marked some underground, like, water service valve or something for water pipes, but I'm not sure. Here's a random bit at the side of the path. If you're not paying attention, look, you just fall right into that. I've come miles down the side of this field, and we've made it to the other end. I'm not sure what type of crop that is there. Any farmers can get in the comments and they might know what that is. Now we're climbing a hill here. It's quite a big reservoir there. We're now walking in the direction of the moon. This is a proper steep hill here. I didn't even remember it looked like this. Look, there's a the reservoir there. And the overflow for it must be down at the bottom of this hill. Wow. So look at this for a hole that you might fall in, folks. If you're just walking straight down this path. It looks like the water's bubbling up the way there. That's crazy. I don't want to go too close to the edge because it looks underwashed. And I don't want to land in the middle of that. Oh, there's a round pipe coming out there. <laughs> that looks deep, folks. That's a proper deep trench all the way around there. That's crazy how underwashed that is, it's just like a black hole. Honestly, like, I can see how deep it is. If I went in there, it would be like above my head. And also the way it's underwashed at the sides, it's like a foot and a half deep in. So really, if you're coming this path, I would be very careful. Look at it. And that's just the overflow for that dam. Anyway folks, I'm heading into the unknown. Still following this fence line. I'll update you very soon when I see something else interesting. So this dam's pretty big folks because it's, it's still there at the other side of the fence and I've walked a fair bit. And once again, the path's dropping off down another slope. I've not climbed another slope. But it looks like there's another overflow potentially from this end of the reservoir. It's too high now to see over the edge with that big grassy embankment. But I'm wondering there's maybe two two bodies of water over there. We're in a wet watery hole here folks. It's kinda eerie thinking that there's a lot of water just up there. 
and I can see like here we go folks, this must be part of the system, look there's a cast iron tap there and there's another tap up there at the top of the hill potentially potentially that pipe was connected through as well at one time who knows that's maybe maybe it was like the back water dam where they used to release the pressure every now and again right folks I think I'm I think I'm properly lost here I'm going to continue this way basically the further I go now the more and unknown I go because there's no clear path here just beasties, little midges and other types of insects. Right here's some sort of path. It could just be deer and other sorts of animals that's caused these paths to come in where they are. And it's difficult as well sometimes to navigate when you've got a limited vision. All I can see is trees. Look at this, here's one of these funguses that we call a bridey and you can see why. It's like a fork of bridey and it's actually sheared off. It's maybe been hit by this branch. All those ones have been broken off the tree. Right, I'm gonna go back. I'm just weaving across the forest here, picking the easiest through. Looks like there's actually something over here. I'm not sure, but we'll investigate it, folks. Here's an actual little spot here in the forest. Look at this, somebody's had a cool little camping spot here. And that's a proper little bench they've made. This log has freshly been moved. Anyway folks, we still need to find another way out of this maze of trees. But I've got a good sense of direction, so... This is how I put it to the test. If I make it out of here. Go and look at this. An old historical oil drum, folks. It looks like there is a path here that I'm following, so civilization should be on the horizon. That's been a cool wee mission today, getting lost in the forest here. Some of the best missions is actually when you don't know where you are. And up ahead here, I can see what looks like a terrible bridge. So slippy and weak. I'm only going to place one foot on it about the middle. Here we go, folks. Look at this. Yeah, it's incredible. It's like a total water fest here. Jumping burns galore. That was two little burns in the space of like 10 meters. See how the ferns look in the winter. Just pure brown, a sea of brown in the summer, that's all green and pretty soon the new ones will be coming up through that that's how the layers of vegetation just built up and up so now I've managed to get to this path I know where I am in the wood I'm probably like four miles from my car right now that's the way we came out I can see there's a tree there the fungus on it is incredible we should have had a look at that if I'd noticed it when it was over there. We're going through the thick forest again here folks. Pushing through it. Which I'm going to show you a point of interest here. Which is another one of these fire dams in the woods. And this big pile of earth that I'm on would have been created when we dug it out. Here. It's hard to see with the thick vegetation around there. We'll try and get a better angle of it for the other side. But this is a massive heap of spoil that's come out there. 
a lot of engineering went in even when they were doing like planting the forest. A lot of things had to be thought about. Sticks and that try to go in your eyes. You have to be careful you don't lose an eyeball. Run through thick thick forest like that. Look at this. Here's a different view of that dam. Under that bridge there's like a waterfall and I think that must be like an overflow from that dam somewhere up there. But those bushes are too thick to be walking through. They are proper spiky bushes. I can actually feel that I've got a bit of spiky bush stuck in my f finger right now. You can't even see it for the darkness under there folks, but there's like a proper waterfall underneath the bridge, which is pretty cool. That's the sun setting folks. We're 42 miles now from the end of this. We're back at this crossroads folks. This is where initially I went down that way. So we've been so far through this wood, all the way back around. And all the way back up through here. An incredible circle. And now, we're heading back out this path. So I can see the trees over here, around the edge of this clearing, have all got pink markers on them. So that must mean that they're going to get cut down, or it might mean that they're not going to get cut down. Look at this here folks, this is, this is the pink markers here that I was saying, they're on all these trees. All the way around the edge of here, I can see about ten of them. And at the opposite side, the sunset just looks absolutely incredible folks. What a perfect scene to end this video, folks. Thanks very much for watching. That's been a cool woodland adventure. I'll be back with the next video very soon.